Ukrainian journalist Dmitry Gordon announced the hour X for Crimea, which implies a simultaneous attack by the Ukrainian armed forces on all enemy military facilities on the occupied peninsula and the bridge across the Kirsch Strait. He made this statement in a conversation with the editor-in-chief of the online publication Gordon Alessia Batsman. The situation in Crimea is extremely clear, I think, to our viewers. At the X hour, I have a rough idea of when it will be. At the X hour, there will be a simultaneous attack on all military units, airfields and the accompanying military infrastructure of Crimea. And as a crowning glory, the Crimean bridge will be closed down, the journalist said. Batsman, in turn, recalled the statement of retired US Admiral Mark Montgomery who called the bridge across the Kirsch Strait a legitimate target that would likely be hit. The Admiral also noted Ukraine's impressive results in the fight against the Russian Black Sea Fleet, despite the fact that Kyiv actually does not have its own fleet. Earlier, the Telegraph also predict the imminent destruction of the Crimean Bridge. Analysts note that the defeats of the Russian Black Sea Fleet and the loss of air defense systems have put Russian troops in a vulnerable position on the peninsula. The article says that the Kremlin will likely have to withdraw more troops from the occupied territories of Ukraine if the Ukrainian armed forces continue to achieve success in the Kursk region. This could expand the range of Ukrainian drone strikes, further undermining Russia's long-range attack capabilities, analysts say. The article also emphasizes the vulnerability of Russian troops in occupied Crimea. They found themselves in an unenviable position after the successful attacks of the Ukrainian armed forces on the Russian Black Sea Fleet and air defense systems. Guerrilla attacks are intensifying and Ukrainian intelligence suggests that Crimea will be the next target. The newspaper writes, according to observers, the bridge across the Kirsch Strait will be destroyed in the near future. The distraction of Russian troops by events in the Kursk region may open the way to the expansion of Ukrainian operations on the peninsula. The success of the Kursk offensive may not depend on the diversion of Russian forces, but if it continues to confuse Moscow and disrupt supply lines, Russian forces will be forced to respond, which will ultimately undermine their operations in the Donbass. However, this will not happen overnight, and Ukraine may still need to strengthen its southeastern front, the analysts concluded. Let us recall that the first deputy head of the Medlis, Nariman Zyolyal, called the operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region a rehearsal for the liberation of Crimea and called for preparations for the deoccupation of the peninsula. On the night of August 24th, there was a drone attack on the city of Ostrogozhsk, Voronezh region, Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of the attack of the kamikaze drone belonging to the Ukrainian army, an explosion and fire occurred in the ammunition warehouse. About 200 people were evacuated from three nearby villages. Two people are said to have been injured. There is a training center for armored vehicle service specialists in Ostrogozhsk. According to the governor of the Voronezh region, Alexander Guzov, the drones that attacked the area were allegedly neutralized by air defense systems, and the fire began due to falling debris. However, the governor did not specify the exact location of the fire or what was detonating. He claims that no casualties or damage to civilian buildings have been reported so far. Multiple Russian channels reported that an ammunition depot is burning in Ostrogozhsk. Блять, это на железке. 